Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Morning Metaphysical Report. Today is January 29th, 2020, and my name is Lysander Santos. And I am the mystical voice in the background known as the Kitchen Witch. So welcome. Today we are going to share with you the day's astrology, numerology, and some other information for you to utilize in your practice today. We will also be going through a grounding, healing, and psychic protection to enable your constant transformation and energetic well-being. In fact, that's where we're going to start now is in a grounding exercise. Fantabulous. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, imagine that there is a bubble around you. This is your aura. Imagine or intend Gently attached to the bottom is a pipe leading deep down into the earth. For the sake of simplicity, imagine that your bubble is filled with a dark colored energy. This energy represents everything that you need to release and are ready to release right now. So let us begin. I will send my energy to assist you in this release. So we're going to watch the dark energy drain out and lower kind of like the level of water. We release. We release all energy that is foreign to us. We release all energy that is not serving our destiny, our highest good, or our goals. We release this energy from every layer of our aura, from every chakra, from every part of our body and spirit, from our mind and from our heart. We release everything that we are now ready to, all blocks, uh, old emotions, beliefs, attachments. Continue to see the level go down, and as the last of it drains through the bottom of your bubble, see or intend that the drain at the bottom just disappears and closes, and know that your aura is whole and complete and sealed. And imagine the pipe at the bottom just kind of curling away and dissipating into the earth. All right, we have grounded our energy. Take a deep breath and really let it out. Now, I'm going to be using this singing bowl to awaken our energy and stimulate it so that it is receptive to all the energy and the healing that we will be doing today. We are all present. Let's move into the astrology for today. All right. <laughs> so the sun, moon, and mercury, oh, or wait, no, excuse me, the sun and mercury are in Aquarius. So what's being highlighted is you as an individual, your place in a greater community or scheme of things, whether it's your family, your town or the universe. 
and especially mentally, the way that we express ourselves and we communicate with others. There's also an emphasis on uh, innovation and finding new ways of doing things, sharing with others. The moon, Venus, and Neptune are in Pisces, so there's a strong emphasis on our emotions and our intuition. So in our love life, we are seeking depth and sincerity, but we may have to contend with uh, not seeing things fully as they are. But we are also connected deeply to ourselves and our real feelings and our intuitions, which can help us. The moon will be moving into Aries at some point today, so we will be moving into a more assertive place. Mars is in Sagittarius, so we have this strong drive to explore and discover what's possible for us rather than just accepting what is. Uranus is here to help in Taurus by making our comfort zone very uncomfortable right now and urging us to explore uh, something else as well. Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto, and Capricorn are going to encourage us to continue our shedding process all year. Uh, but it is ultimately, ultimately going to be in our highest good. Let's take a look at our aspects for today. Ooh, aspects. <laughs> <laughs> so there aren't a lot. The sun is sextiled with the moon. Uh, one after the moon has moved into Aries. So, what we uh, already want to explore new ways of doing things and sharing that with others, and that'll be complemented by our sudden urge, um, our need within to be assertive, to direct our initiative and energy. So that's the astrology for today. Woo! Good advice all. Good advice all. Also a reminder, because I have a tendency to forget, the astrology is not a horoscope. It's a description of where all the planets are in the sky right now. And the energy it infuses into the earth overall and that we are all experiencing. Today's numerology. Today is a two day. Today is a day of plotting and planning. The word plotting is kind of funny. <laughs> well, I, you know, okay, so I write the numerology every day. Uh, I don't know. I had this, uh, this sort of feeling of, you know, scheming. <laughs> so, but I didn't want to say scheming. So, so that's what plot, plotting made me think of it anyway. So, yes, this is a. To give credit where due, my lovely fiance uh, computes the numerology intuitively each day, as well as other information which I will share with you as we go along. That the intuitive impression was scheming, so I went with plotting. It didn't sound quite as uh... plotting and planning. A day to think and not to act. With the new month on the horizon, this two day asks you to consider what you can do differently to improve your life. Take a moment to be alone and ask the universe for guidance. Be willing to listen and receive the wisdom it has to offer. Prepare yourself for the journey ahead. All right. Well, that sounds extremely thoughtful. Uh, yes, yeah, so I will certainly be doing that after this, taking a moment to be with the universe. Yes, absolutely. And to trust what it has to say to me too. So now we are moving into our crystal healing. Crystal healing. I do want to enjoy this while this is still hot. <laughs> coffee. We're getting really excited, guys. We're getting really excited. This coffee mug is going to happen. Yes, we will talk about that in the announcements later, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, I'm designing it right now. Mm -hmm. Right now I've got three designs. One has cats on it, one has magic on it, and one has a charming picture of Lysander and I on it. Oh. No, the last one's a lie. You're gonna get cats or magic. 
I don't really want my face on a coffee mug. That's weird. Is it? It is. <laughs> All right. So today's crystal is garnet. Uh, garnet sharpens your perceptions of yourself and other people. It dissolves ingrained behavior patterns that are no longer serving you and helps you to let go of obsolete ideas. Garnet opens up the heart, bestowing self-confidence. Garnet is also known as a stone of commitment to purpose and to oneself. Its loving powers reflect the attributes of devotion and understanding. It both monitors and adjusts the flow of energy to provide for a balanced energy field around the physical body and alignment of the emotional and intellectual bodies. So, uh, you are also going to experience the energy of this crystal for yourself. I'm going to be using two pieces today. So if you would like to receive this healing, allow yourself to connect with the energy of these crystals. I will begin. This concludes the healing with garnet. And if you are busy getting ready for your day, take a few seconds to pause 
and allow the healing energy to integrate. While we are in this space, we are going to move into our affirmation for the day. This affirmation was also is a, an original affirmation written by the Kitchen Witch. So she's done that as well, and it has been inspired by Garnet. I'm going to say the affirmation to you the first few times. So you can focus on taking in the words rather than being distracted by saying them yourself. I am worthy of all the love the universe has to offer. I deserve to be loved with respect and tenderness. I'm open to being loved. Oh, it, oh, this, is this the one from yesterday? Maybe, did I not change it? Oh, man. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Hold on. Talk to people. <laughs> so affirmations can be very useful in that uh, what really made them work for me, just as a quick note, is really thinking about what it is you're saying and visualizing what it would be like to really feel what you're saying. For example, the affirmation, I love and approve of myself. What would it mean to actually love yourself? To have that feeling, what would it mean to approve of yourself? Like when you approve of someone or something and to have that feeling towards you. Uh, so bringing that consideration into your affirmations can really activate them for you. So that's an affirmation tip. All right, so now I'm going to read the affirmation to you a few times. So just listen and take in the words, and then we'll say it together a few times. So this is an original affirmation by the Kitchen Witch. I believe the universe has a plan for me. I allow life to flow through me and as part of me. I am open to guidance. I believe the universe has a plan for me. I allow life to flow through me and as part of me. I am open to guidance. I believe the universe has a plan for me. I allow life to flow through me and as part of me. I am open to guidance. All right. Now we are going to say it three times together. And begin. I believe the universe has a plan for me. I allow life to flow through me and as part of me. I am open to guidance. I believe the universe has a plan for me. I allow life to flow through me and as part of me. I am open to guidance. I believe the universe has a plan for me. I allow life to flow through me and as part of me. I am open to guidance. All right. So that is the affirmation for today. Sorry about that, guys. I have to give Lysander notes on everything that's happening on screen. And I didn't change the affirmation notes. So he had yesterday's affirmation. I... It's okay, darling. She works Sorry. very hard. But in case you didn't know, I can't see the screen. <laughs> uh, all right. That is all right, though. It is now time for the magic tip of the day. Magic tip of the day. All right. So today's magic tip is that lighting a candle is a powerful invocation. It's a very simple act, and it could be any candle, any color. Just light it with an intention. One of the most powerful things is that when you light a candle, you can call in the presence of spirit. 
whether you envision that as your guides, your patron god or goddess, or any other higher power, by just lighting a candle, the presence of the flame is like the presence of their spirit and calling them in. And I have done this and felt like a very strong shift in the room by doing that. And it used to be something I did to comfort or as a companion while I used to engage in my magical studies back in the day. So, um, obviously there's a whole branch of magic dedicated to candles, but that's a very simple thing I learned to point out is that a lot of times we can overthink things. And if you just want to invite that in to your space, and for that to be present with you, just light a candle. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nice and easy today. Yes. <laughs> light a candle. All right. So now it is time for our card reading of the day. Fantastic. Who are we hearing from today? Well, let's see. Oh, dear. I guess we're going to hear from Psychic today because I didn't bring Chicoli back into the room. You know, I have this feeling like the two of us weren't prepared to be awake today. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I feel like us psychically sensing both decks, I feel like Psychic wanted to talk today anyway. There you go. <laughs> For what it's worth, guys, we went and played in the snow yesterday and the two of us are kind of like zonked. It's, it's a true story. I am sore everywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so today's reading comes from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And this is a reading I'm doing for all of you collectively. This is advice on our day today. It is. You may resonate with all of the reading or just parts of it. So let's see what the cards have to say to us today. Coffee. Makes the world go round. The morning metaphysical report brought to you by coffee. Because without it, we wouldn't be here. That's true. Ooh. So the first card is power. I like to read key phases out of the book that stand out to me to read as well as offering my own interpretation. This card represents inner strength, willpower, courage, compassion, generosity, and love. At any moment, these beautiful qualities can assist you in coping with an adverse condition in front of you or the many surrounding your life. Set aside the necessary time to resolve such issues. This kind of here comes back to the numerology of the day, saying that now is the time to plot and plan. Not plot a day. And plan. <laughs> Not a day to act. So uh, take some time today to sit aside and tune into yourself and all of your wonderful strengths and inner divinity and uh, formulate your next step. You'll have to tell me what the cards are because I didn't actually. The waiting game. The waiting game. <laughs> <laughs> Took the cards before uh, last night I had a chance to look at them. So in a lot of ways, these cards are pretty straightforward based on their titles. This is a number two card. So this card is all about choice and decision. In the past, you've been afraid of making decisions or choices, but now you're no longer held prisoner by the sphere of, or the constraints of old beliefs. Expect the best and be open to the limitless power of your intuition, which is presently very strong. It also indicates that, you know, needing to wait for these things. So, yes. I can, often I find that the hardest part, waiting for mm -hmm. that manifestation, that demonstration of what it is you've been creating. Four. Third. There we go. This card can so this is foundation and achievements. This card confirms what you've been building is now firmly established with a strong and solid foundation. 
You deserve this, and it's time for you to harvest the rewards for your efforts. Be open to receive as you've worked hard and have given so much. Allow the universe to give a little back to you. There's, there has to be an even exchange of giving and receiving in order to prime the pump of gratitude and reinforce the law of attraction. This is a period of celebration, peace, and prosperity. All right, so it, I take these as cards of reassurance to be patient that it is coming and that all will be well and you will be provided for. And to take time today to reconnect with your with the spark of divinity that lives in you and the flow of the universe that flows through you. Let's see if they have anything else to add. Mm -hmm. Any final words? This is a whole other thought. Appealing to a different part of our audience, maybe. Yes. So the first card is Prosperity Begin. Like the title says, it's speaking about the beginning of uh, something new and the sprouting of something that you have planted. This card brings a message of beginnings, prosperity, wealth, and new business. It may result from your hard work, past efforts, and investments, or it could show up unexpectedly. It may even be presented as a gift. This is a time to focus on the most beneficial outcome. Expect the best and envision that project or new, new job having a successful result. Feel it, see it, and most important, believe it. When you focus on abundance and the positive, positive aspects of the material world and offer gratitude, prosperity, and all forms will flow even more freely. So these cards are a new thought, but it's a similar vein. And there's a theme of focus on the best of what could happen. The next card is disruption. So this follows the first card. Let's see how this plays in. A sudden, usually unforeseen disruption or major change is happening or is about to take place. Even if it appears to be a negative experience, it can lead to enlightenment or a total shift in your lifestyle. Whichever part of your life you focus on, this is an opportunity to rebuild with a solid positive structure to make you or the situation even stronger. There are times when the most difficult situations arise in your life. If you choose to, they can act as a catalyst to heal other areas. Learn from past mistakes, accept them, and integrate them into your life as stepping stones. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. This card is a reminder that negative thinking, limiting beliefs, ignoring problematic situations, and risky or careless lifestyles must be addressed so that positive changes can, be, can take place. So it is saying that saying to focus on the positive and to be mindful of negative habits and thinking. For some of you, there is a shift happening or coming. And after that is material and spiritual prosperity. So after this, it is saying that the, this, situ this situation disruption will resolve. It re represents a peaceful, tranquil time when problems seem to actually disappear. And uh, prosperity seems to show up from nowhere. A time of prosperity, balance, and harmony in your physical and spiritual existence is showing you that the practice of giving and receiving will bring you true riches. Look into your life and see where you can spread spiritual and physical wealth. Is there a person or favorite charity that would welcome an act of kindness right now? Practice generosity, gratitude, and compassion so that you can continue to prosper in all areas of your life. I feel like it's also advice for getting through the disruption in your life 
in whatever form it may be, is to continue. Don't let it separate you from your practices. Often when things that seem bad or <laughs> may even actually be bad events come up, we become separated or lost, too distracted to engage our spiritual habits and to connect to our roots. And so it's saying to not let go of that, to not let go of yourself and to continue to engage in the flow that is part of the universe through abundance, through gratitude, through the spread of love and kindness. Mm -hmm. All right. That concludes our reading for today. If you would like to explore more deeply anything that came up for you, uh, I do offer private readings through my Facebook page and my website, mystandardclairvoyant.com. Ta-da! All right. <laughs> All right, so now it is time for our question of the day. It's my favorite time of day. It's the question of the day. Do-do. Do-do. No, uh... I'm still working on this jingle thing, everybody. I'm going to I'm gonna get there. <laughs> All right. As always, the question of the day is brought to you by the Kitchen Witch and is based on our numerology today. Today is a two-day about plotting, but most importantly, it's about planning out our road ahead and connecting with the universe in our intention. So today's question of the day. In what ways does the divine guide your life? Do you receive signs, impressions? Do you feel intuitively that you're going in the right direction? How does the divine guide your life? That is a good question. So we're going to start with Lysander. How does the divine guide your life? Well... There are some higher forces that definitely turn the, the tide of events in my life here and there, but I also make the active effort to try to tune into not only myself and my own intuition, but to uh, be open to exterior divine guidance as well. And it's I feel that that's something that I'm always growing in and improving in. So I guess my answer is kind of straightforward in that way as I try to pause throughout the day to sense what is the next best thing and for advice. Yeah. Tuning in. The divine guides your life by tuning in. Nilla says that the divine guides her life in every way. Great. Um, I would say I personally am divine or uh, guided by the divine through brunt force. Uh, it never seems like the divine wants to subtly keep me on a path. It likes to come in and kind of take whatever I'm working on and throw it out a window so that I have no choice but to do something different. Uh, but my divine guides are very forceful warrior types. <laughs> They're not big on subtlety. They really like to just, you're doing this wrong. I'm going to make sure you stop. So uh, that is how the divine guides my life. When everything goes wrong, I know I must not oh. be on the right path. It's, that's, it's true. I mean, it's true. It's, it's true. Just, yeah. <laughs> when everything goes wrong, when everything goes wrong, oh. that's how I know I need to be doing something else. So saying I like obstacles are detours in the right direction. So if you are like the kitchen witch and you find that things are unnecessarily difficult for no reason, it's probably because you're going the wrong way. Yep. And you're trying to be, something is trying to redirect you and you are resisting, which is understandable. <laughs> but just a heads up to spare yourself the years of trying to figure out why nothing is working. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Uh, let's see. Sandy says, messages from the tarot, also messages through meditation and mediumship. Interesting. Lots of messages there. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should use that one today. 
Let's see. Anybody else? Let's see. James says, we are given tests every day and nothing makes sense at first. That's very true. Nothing makes sense at first, but everything is divinely guided when you come down to it. So, I think, I think that, uh, that might be it today. My goodness. You know, we just haven't had the lively conversation today. I think everyone's well, asleep, just like me. It's a very quiet day. It is quiet and very contemplative. So you You're just supposed to be this. plotting and planning. You just asked this, so maybe we have a little extra time today, won't we? Go through that right now. We can all tune in and see what uh, the universe intends for us all today. <laughs> Unless you think that would be super boring. Um, well, I mean, we all have the ability and do it all in our own way. I mean, I can wow. I can also tune in and kind of get a sense of what everyone collectively needs for their day ahead. Any objections? No? You're kind of like, I'm, I don't know how much time you think we have, but it's cool. Oh, okay. Well, you are all capable spiritual practitioners, so uh, another time, perhaps. Uh, I would suggest joining me for one of my meditative videos. Um, all right, so now it is time for announcements. Or, <laughs> yes, love. Oh, are there more comments? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. You're just like, let's do a thing. Let's not do a thing. Let's just move on. Like, dude, calm down. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to, like, just stop. <laughs> um, yeah, one one more. We'll take one more, and then I guess we'll move on. Because last time I'm we sorry. Had hurry today. She's out of coffee. I'm not. You're out of coffee. You just, you're, you're in a hurry. Uh, let's see. Henrik says, uh, usually whispers uh, or a physical weird feeling. And at home, I get a lot of having a hard time, like, seeing because I left my glasses in the room. But, yes, whispers and, and feelings. There you go. All right. You, you do what you want. Okay, we have exciting announcements. Do we? Yes. Cool. <laughs> so, first of all, if you enjoyed watching the Morning Metaphysical Report, please like, follow, or subscribe to my Patreon channel or the MMR page or channel. On screen are lovely members from Patreon who support the show. If you would like to contribute to MMR and its growth and to grow with us, please visit patreon.com slash morning metaphysical report to learn more about MMR, our goals for the show, and the membership levels and perks, including a mug. Um, well, the, so, mug, the mug isn't up yet. The mug is coming. Well, the mug is coming. That's part of the announcements. We're very excited about the MMR mug Ooh. being designed by the Kitchen Witch. And it's going to have the MMR logo and either cats or a magical invitation or seal. Right now it's actually a draw. We keep asking you all to ask us what you would prefer, a magical seal or cats. And honestly, it's uh, it's about 50-50 right now. I don't think either is in the lead. So I'm feeling like know. there might have to be two mugs. I don't know. Two editions. Uh, it might come to that. It might come to that. All right, uh, so I'm very look. I'm looking forward to it as well because we will also have our own mug, and then we will all have the same mug. <laughs> and it's drink, a coffee thing. And drink coffee together, or tea if you prefer. All right. Um, <laughs> Nella, Nella says, "Why not both? <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> exactly. So that will be a future membership reward. So look out for that." Very, very excited to pull it together. It's mostly this not being sure which one to go with that's been stalling the process. Uh, so, yeah, I'm very excited about that. We are also 
uh, going to be releasing other membership rewards soon for the upper levels, so look out for that. Uh, if you like and follow my page, Lysander Xanthus Clairvoyant Psychic, you will also see other videos from me. And I think that's all for the announcements. Yay, announcements! <laughs> So now I would like to cast a psychic protection for all of you. Psychic shielding is Im something important to do every day to so you're not picking up any additional things while and make your clearing and healing work go further. So if you would like this, all you need to do is accept it for yourself. Great. And finally, uh, we are going to set an intention for our day. You can set an intention for yourself or accept my intention for you. We are the creators of our reality. And this is a simple way to engage in that power by setting an intention at the beginning of each day. Today brings us power, connection to ourselves, it brings us love, and it brings us prosperity. Today we dig our roots into ourselves and into our divine power, and we draw upon that in order to continue to create the reality that we deserve and desire for ourselves. And that is being pulled to us right now. We declare and command that life be full of every good thing and that we are filled with that fulfillment and clarity today. Thank you. And so it is. Thank you all so much for joining us today. It's always such a delight to have your light here with us in the morning. It's the reason we wake up in the morning to be here with all of you. Thank you all for sharing your divinity today. Thank you so much. We'll see you all again soon. Have a beautiful day, everyone.